a new fighting distance. If you have read any quantity of my martial arts writing, then you know how I feel about fighting at sparring distance. Yuck! I almost always advise changing the distance. Move out, move in, move somewhere. This quick video won't concentrate on selling you on the benefits of avoiding that no man's land. Instead, I'd like you to start brainstorming on how to get in close. Really close. You could spar Jim Bowie style, but without the knife. Tie your wrists together to stay close to your opponent. The only problem is that you could pick up the bad habit of struggling to stay as far away from possible from your enemy. You need to create an exercise that emphasizes closeness. You could find an old style telephone booth, if they still exist. The problem would be missing your partner's face and punching through the glass. Also one trip and crash. Maybe you could tape off a small circle, three or four feet in diameter, then spar inside the circle. The challenge with this training method would be staying inside while sparring. It might be too easy to escape a straight blast by taking one step out of the mini ring. How about getting a sturdy cardboard box and using a box cutter to make the walls less than a foot high? You could both fight standing inside the box. Maybe plop the shallow box in the middle of a dojo mat so that if one of you trips and falls, there will be padding all around. Would you like to know a suitable in-close training arena? My practice partner and I found a closet without a shelf or hanger bar. It was completely empty. And while some people euphemistically come out of the closet, we literally went into the closet. A towel to plug the light from the crack under the door, and we had the perfect area for training limited movement chi sao. That's right, we touched wrists and fought blind. Warning, you might need face and or eye protection if you try this. It was a great way to prevent the option of turning and running during a sticky hands attack by your opponent. Over the years, I found another use for both closet sparring and training with a partner standing in a shallow box. By changing one element of the sparring session, like having your students stand in a box to spar, it ups the ante. It tends to make students nervous, and this is a good thing. One of the methods for developing self-defense confidence outlined in Control Your Fear, a guide for martial artists, is to induce a little nervousness into the training. Why? Because it's hard to teach yourself to overcome panic and fear if you don't have any fear to conquer during your practice session. This change of arena is a great way to add a little nervousness. Just make sure you always take safety precautions so there's no real danger. I hope you found this tip useful. Until next time, I'm Keith Paschal.